probably won't remember to record all of this, but here's the, the mixing stage. And I've already put some stuff in this one. Technically, I think this one kind of stuff inactive, but well, I'll, I'll do that for, for this one. So yeah, so far, just the mixy mix, you know? I totally forgot to bring my phone in to time how long I'm mixing it. So it's supposed to mix it um, for is it three, four minutes. I'm sure I'm going to do something for two. So, yeah. So I'm going to make it in these. Uh, I think we'll go for this. I don't know which one we're going for. It's uh, either a circle, square, or one, two, three. So now is the demolding, but well, one-handed because I'm recording on bed again. <laughs> I mean, I could have recorded in there too, but oh. oh yeah, look at that! A little bit translucent because I didn't use clear. And not very, very much mica powder to completely. Thing because some of the resin I kept clear and not. Yeah. It was pretty nice, opaque on the sides. So, this is the first one. As you probably remember, I mean, it's been like, was it two days for me? But it's got a nice gold, some turquoise, some pink, some purple. 
<clears throat> we have some iridescent uh, disc kind of sequins, a couple gold hearts. So yeah, it turned out nicely with that one. Here's this one. Maybe slightly finger on the edges. So I need to. Not bad on this one. They're a little bit on the sharp side. I might need to round it off or something. But yeah. But when I mix it, I guess more hearts. Fell on this one and the other one fell this way. They're all completely in. I just need to be sand off the edge because this is a little sharp here. You can sort of see in the light right there. Anyway, and for the first coasters, they are pretty nice. And they're about the same thickness, I think, which is good because obviously the mold is thicker than what I poured. So I kind of hoped that I did the right um, thickness for both of them. Total, I guess. I just, you know. Anyway, I hope she like them because this is sort of goes with the. Uh, retirement card that I made in that other video that was the uh, opening of the uh, Lisa Horton Tacky Mat. So these are the two coasters that I made for her retirement present. I thought, you know, why not? Because like, I uh, got the this, you know, coaster mold for my birthday and I thought I'd use it, you know? Just need to sand or something. File down the edges of it. I'll have to see what I have. But anyway, yeah. Very nice, very nice. I'm glad I don't need to add any extra resin on it, I don't think. Just sand down the edges a bit. But yes, it turned out very nice. I'm very happy with that. And if you're wondering, it was um, <clears throat> JDOS, the J Diction Epoxy Resin, the one, one to one ratio, and I used 100 of each, so 200 and that was to make these two. If you're wondering, I mean, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Unless you're planning to make it yourself or whatever, but yes. Well, I'm really happy with that, so I guess this is the end of the video. Well, it's going to help you because I don't have anything else to say. So, thank you for watching, and I'll run out.